today we're making a two ingredient watermelon lime sorbet in the Ninja Creamy. I think you're gonna love it. Mmm. Hi everybody and welcome, I'm Tammy and today I'm gonna share with you how to make a watermelon lime sorbet in my Ninja Creamy. Love this machine, it's great and so easy to make healthy, delicious desserts. So let's get started. First off, I have a little bit of leftover watermelon. Wasn't looking so great and so I decided, hey, I'm going to put it in my Ninja Creamy and see what I can do. So I had a, several cups of watermelon, put it in my Vitamix blender along with the juice from one lime. If you wanted to, you could also do the zest from the lime and put that in there for an extra punch of flavor. I did not do that this time. And then I just processed it until it was kind of frothy. Then I took and poured it into my creamy pint only up to the fill line. It did have some foam on top, so I did just spoon off that foam, and then I put the lid on it, and of course, I marked what it was on top of it, because once it's frozen, it can look like other flavors. Put it in the freezer, make sure that it's kept level in the freezer, and let it freeze solid for 24 hours. Then we pull it out, and let it just stay out for about five to 10 minutes before you blend it. I just find that I get a better, creamier consistency the first time if I do that. And you can see I had it labeled. So we first we want to do is we want to take the lid off and we want to make sure that it's very level on top. Now this one isn't too bad. Sometimes they get what Kathy Hester calls a volcano over the top, but this one isn't too bad. I'm just going to level it out just a little. Okay, so we just wanna make sure that the surface is level before we start, just so that the creamy creamyizer paddle can have a nice smooth transition all the way down while it's making this into a wonderful scoopable consistency. So that's all we have to do. Then we just drop it into the holder and you just wanna make sure that these little um, feet on here drop down in where they need to go. Then we take the creamyizer paddle and we attach it to the lid. There is a little paddle latch here. You just wanna slide that over to open it up and then drop your blade in, let go, make sure it's in there. It'll have a little bit of give to it, but not too much. Then put the lid on and we're just locking in place, pretty easy. Then it's gonna go straight in on the machine. I'm gonna turn my machine on that's the off on button there. You can see it's flashing up there. It says install and then just slide this to the right. Okay, and now it locked in place. I'm going to be using the sorbet setting for this and it'll take probably less than two minutes. Let's get started. Okay, so now we're just going to remove it. So we have a release button on the side here. Pull it out. And there's also a release button on the lid. So we wanna push that and look and see. Okay, I just wanna test it with my spoon to see. It's a little powdery, but I think if I re-spin it, it might be to, no, I think I can re-spin it. I'm gonna just re-spin it a little bit just so it will be a little bit creamier. I didn't let it set out for quite 10 minutes. Mmm, you guys, wow, that is so delicious. 
We're just gonna do a re-spin. And that's a button down here, and here we go. Oh, there we go, perfect. So sometimes we do need to do a re-spin and that's okay. Um, it'll just make it super creamy. You can add a little bit of liquid to it if you think it needs it at that point. But because this was watermelon, I already knew it had a high liquid content. So then we can just scoop it into our dish and enjoy. Now, if you wanted this to look like watermelon, you could actually do the add-ins and put some uh, chocolate chips in there. I do the unsweetened cacao chips from Trader Joe's, and then it would really look like watermelon seeds in it, and that would be super fun. Pretty. Hey, look at that, you guys. It's beautiful. What a gorgeous color. And if you've followed me for very long, you know how much I love watermelon. So let's have a taste. Mmm. Delicious. I love the addition of a little bit of lime juice in there too. It really adds a little something to it. So there you go. A simple, easy dessert that you can make with just two ingredients in the Ninja Creamy. I'm Tammy and I help you get healthy and stay healthy one meal at a time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.